know, we've mentioned our loyalties to Kansas State, and uh, it brings me a great deal of pride uh, tonight to, to announce that we're going to have the Henry C. Gardner Scholarship. And uh, this is a tribute to the discipline use of proven genetics, artificial insemination, embryo transfer, data collection, and an effort to enhance genetic progress by my father, Henry Gardner. We're proud to announce this scholarship, and this will be at Kansas State. It will be the Henry C. Gardner Scholarship. And Dr. Bill Beal would like to speak. Thanks, Mark. Uh, this is a really nice event. I'm really glad that you're all here to share it with us. Um, the Henry Gardner Scholarship is going to be an undergraduate scholarship at uh, Kansas State. It'll be for upperclassmen, juniors and seniors. It'll be awarded to students who demonstrate leadership, interest in the cattle industry. And I think one of the most interesting things is that the Gardner family will be involved along with folks at Kansas State and also people like Larry Cora from the industry and actually interviewing and selecting students that best fit the ideals uh, of this scholarship. There also will be a Henry C. Gardner lecture uh, series, and that will be an annual lecture that's given at Kansas State by an innovator in the beef industry, usually held in coordination with some big event at K-State, and we'll try to pick people that are of interest not only to the academic community, but also to cattlemen, uh, to try to bring things to the cattle industry that wouldn't be available uh, otherwise. So that's the essence of uh, uh, of the Henry C. Gardner Scholarship. You know, anytime you start a scholarship fund or anything that, that requires raising money to endow a, a, a fund that in this case will support the scholarship, it takes somebody to kick that off, to get it started, because it's always easier for people to follow and, and support something if they know other people have already done that. And I think this thing's a great idea. And the person that I respect a great deal is one of the joint venture cooperators, the people that will sell bulls tomorrow with uh, the Gardner family. One of them came up with a great idea. He said, I will donate all the proceeds from one of the bulls that I have in that sale. And I said, whoa. But then he said, I challenge you to get the other 16 cooperators to match me and also donate the proceeds from one of their bulls. Well, I'll tell you what happened after that. Those were the easiest phone calls that I have ever made in my life, Henry. Every single cooperator was more than willing to buy into that and donate the proceeds from one of their bulls in tomorrow's sale. So 17 bulls that sell tomorrow, the proceeds will be the beginning, in my mind, of the Henry C. Gardner uh, Scholarship Fund. Now, <laughs> Thank you. Many of these folks are here, and I'd like to recognize them by their farm names. And when I do so, I'd like them to stand up and remain standing so that at the end we can give you all a, a big hearty thanks. And let's start with Hinkle's Prime Cut Angus. Stand up, Kenny, you're here somewhere. Good Angus. Maple Crest Farms. Chair Rock Angus. Elm Creek Angus, Two Bar Angus, Double B Farms, Ogeechee Angus, Springwood Angus, CAM Ranches, Dreamcatcher Genetics, Ironwood Farms, Shared Farms, Hillhouse Angus, Hershey Angus, Bridges Angus, and Blackstone Angus. Let's give these folks a big round of applause for their generosity. Now, in addition to the generous contributions that these folks will make, the Gardner family has stepped up, and the Lot 2 bull that you saw in the catalog for tomorrow's sale, 100% of the proceeds from that bull will, will be donated by the Gardner family uh, to this scholarship fund. I estimate that we'll end up with over $40,000 to start uh, this scholarship. I'd say that's a pretty good start to what we're trying uh, to do uh, with the Henry C. Gardner Scholarship Fund. Now, we're not the only people working at this. 
Uh, I'm Randall Spare from the Ashland Veterinary uh, Clinic. Dr. Spare has worked with other individuals, organizations, and companies to also generate support for the scholarship fund. And Randall, I'd like you to come forward and talk a little bit about the things you've done. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. Uh, as a local businessman and as a part of uh, being a partnership with Gardner Angus Ranch, it's just an honor and a pleasure to, to be part of this endeavor and to, to encourage the same character traits as, as Henry's given his family and to uh, encourage that at, at Kansas State. And I'd like, at this time, I'd like to just acknowledge a few of those businesses and, and people that have stepped up and I think it's unique something that Garth mentioned in his talk was how Henry local community businesses were were very important to Henry and uh, we are the result of that uh, ourselves but but even furthermore I'd like to acknowledge uh, Kendall K with Stalker State Bank and the Berryman family uh, when this my uh, part of this first start I went to Kendall and said, uh, Kendall, gardeners are going to start this fund, and and it's always nice to ask the bank, would you like to be a part of this? And I, I had no idea uh, their generosity uh, and the magnitude of it. And I would just like, uh, Mark would like a few comments uh, in regards to stock growers. Well, it's a real honor, and, and you know, the Stockholders Bank has just been wonderful to this community, and and uh, they've stuck by many of us through thick and thin, and they've always been through their uh, good times and bad. And uh, you know, I'm going to be turning it over to Dr. Larry or Uncle Larry, as we say here in a little bit. But uh, it's a real pleasure for me tonight uh, to introduce Dr. Ken Obi. Uh, you know, to me, the icon, Sally, in my world was the head of the Department of Animal Science at Kansas State University. It didn't get any bigger than that. So, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to have the K-State folks here. They're not only our, our friends and our educators, uh, but they do a great job for the state of Kansas and the world. So, Dr. Odie. Thanks, Mark. And uh, it's, a, it's a real honor for me tonight uh, to be here and just have a chance to share a few comments and receive uh, this check. Uh, what I'd like to say tonight, and there's, I think there's two really important reasons uh, that this is a really, really significant uh, event. Uh, scholarships are really important. If you look at where we're at in higher education today and where we're at in our land-grant universities, uh, for many years now, we've been putting more of the burden uh, on the backs of our students. Tuition is, in fact, if you look at most of our land grants in the last 10 years, uh, students pay about three times as much money to go to college today as they did about 10 years ago. We try to offset that as much as we possibly can with scholarships, and this uh, Henry Gardner Scholarship Fund will be a big, big help to students at Kansas State University. I also want to make one other comment that uh, I saw in the video. Uh, I, I heard the word curiosity, and my experience as an educator, as a teacher, there's no trait more important in young people uh, than curiosity. Curiosity is what actually drives the learning. And so I really, uh, really uh, bought onto that when I actually heard that. The other thing that I want to say, in addition to the value this brings to lots of young people, we are just incredibly uh, pleased to be part of honoring Henry Gardner. Uh, when I was a graduate student at Kansas State, Dr. Cole was on faculty. Uh, we heard a lot about Henry and the Gardner program uh, back in the late 70s and early 80s. I went to Colorado State University in 1983, uh, crossed paths with Henry, and I, I recall somewhere in the 80s, uh, Henry coming to Colorado and giving a talk on EPDs. And uh, at that time, uh, we didn't yet have a lot of... Uh, uh, conviction about the value of EPDs in the industry and Henry was an advocate and not only was an advocate but was an outstanding communicator as well. Uh, I remember making a trip here sometime in the early 90s on a project with uh, Larry Cora and uh, I interviewed for this job about four and a half years ago. Henry was at the interview. In fact he asked the first question uh, at the interview to show his interest in and what was going on at Kansas State University and what was going on in the department. Four years ago tonight, I, I was out here at this event. Uh, there were two, three hundred people. Henry loaded me up in the pickup and took me for a little drive. He took me out to the AI Center. 
to tell me a little bit about his operation, but also to tell me a few things about Kansas State University that he wanted me to understand as well. So I, I, I got, uh, got made sure I actually got that as well. So we're just really, really pleased tonight to be part uh, of honoring you, Henry. So. Uh, and, and my thanks to the Gardner family, my thanks to all of the people who've uh, already donated this fund uh, and, and uh, my great appreciation, so thank you. Thank you, Dr. Odie. Some other people that I'd like to mention that have, have either committed or have given money that, that are friends and, and clients of Gardner and Angus Ranch would be Cooper and Katie Hurst from uh, Woodville, Mississippi, Larry and Larry Conrad and Randy Harmon of the, our local tax accounting agency, Stephen Mary Hunt from Liberty, Missouri, Tracy and Judy Thomas from Leewood, Kansas, JBS Five Rivers uh, cattle feeding, Paul Donnelly of Kansas City, Missouri, um, Don and Lee Robbins from uh, Grand Bayou Farms from Dubac, Louisiana, Mr. Joe Mayer from Guyman, Oklahoma, Dr. Virgil Lawless and Hinkle's Pr Prime Cut Angus. Kitty, you got acknowledged twice there. But thank you for those of you that are present. We just appreciate it. Uh, appreciate your, your generosity and your willingness to, to take a lead in this opportunity. <laughs>